I'm just curious if anyone in the room has reflections on what's it like engaging with buyers and getting deals. Because uh, we hear a lot about the volatility of the market, the volatility of prices. I hear a lot from, um, from companies how hard it is to actually connect with the big tech companies you're trying to secure offtake. And also to what extent are you able to leverage pre-purchases to be able to um, kind of fund your working capital? We are at a CDR founders lunch uh, in Nairobi, Kenya. Um, CDR is carbon dioxide removal. Um, and so essentially what it's all about is ways in which you can remove carbon from the atmosphere and store it permanently um, in the ground or in the waterways. Um, and why that's crucially important is that um, the IPCC says that in order for us to stay within um, you know, 1.5 degrees of global warming, we need to be able to remove at least 10 gigatons of CO2 annually by 2050. Um, and so basically what they're saying is that reducing our emissions through things like renewable energy, um, that alone is not enough. There is so much carbon now in the atmosphere that in order to um, stymie global warming, we need to not only reduce emissions, we also need to remove carbon from the atmosphere. Um, and there are ways, a range of ways in which you can remove carbon from the atmosphere and they're, they're all represented in the room today but they, these span from technology so building things like direct air capture machines so building machines that suck carbon out of the atmosphere and store it underground through mineralization um, through to hybrid based approaches so things like biochar where you take biomass waste and you apply heat to it um, and you store and pyro, uh, store the, uh, lock the carbon in that biomass which then gets stored very permanently all the way over through to nature based solutions and so the original kind of carbon removal technique is planting trees um, and so how do we kind of restore ecosystems, reforestation, also things like blue carbon where we work on uh, mangrove protection and rest restoration. These are all natural processes by which we can also store carbon. Um, so yeah, it's really exciting to be here and essentially we're trying to advocate for Kenya to be kind of, you know, a core driver, a climate powerhouse uh, in solving climate change and in doing so creating jobs. Okay. What would you say to people who don't believe in this car carbon removal? systems. They think yeah. it's a hoax. Yeah. Or it's a money crop. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I would say that um, some healthy skepticism is okay. Um, but, you know, if you believe it's a hoax, I would invite you to kind of um, do your research and speak to some of the companies that are here because there is kind of very real um, kind of impacts that you can see on the ground of, of, of many of these interventions. And so, for example, some of the biochar companies in the room today, you know, are telling us that um, farmers that are using their biochar are seeing a 30% increase uh, in yield. Now, they're using that getting that 30% increase from the fertilizer they're using that's laced with biochar and the biochar is funded by carbon um, carbon credits and what the carbon finance enables them to do is to provide that biochar at a discount so from a farmer perspective you get discounted inputs that are organic and in the process you're able to be an agent for climate change you're actually helping to remove carbon from the atmosphere so these are very very tangible examples of ways in which this whole ecosystem is um, kind of unlocking benefit uh, locally on the on the continent while also serving uh, serving global climate goals and um, you know we hear a lot people talk a lot about you know Africa only cause three percent of global emissions so why should we do carbon removals in Africa this is not Africa's problem to solve this is a global north problem to solve um, and absolutely the global north created this problem but that doesn't mean that Africa can't be part of the solution um, you know if these if these opportunities can create industry can create jobs like you know climate is going to be a massive export on this continent so irrespective of whether you care about climate climate change, what we have here is massive investment potential, massive job creation potential. These are dignified, well-paying jobs that we can create on the continent off the base of climate solutions. And so we're really trying to appeal to economic incentives and say that irrespective of who caused this mess, Africa can actually benefit from the solutions that are going to get us out of it.